Hello people, I'm your host Deepak Tapliyal and I welcome you to Greenify. In our first video, we learned how East India Company came and ruled come ruined India for 100 years, which was eventually replaced by the British Raj in 1858. Continuing our agriculture history series, today we will see the incident happened during the British Raj. Britishers forced farmers to grow different crops. Crops which had high demand in foreign market like jute, sugarcane, cotton, tobacco start increasingly cultivated in India instead of food crops. That is the commercialization of agriculture which became prominent during the 1860s. There were many factors assisting the commercialization like railways were rapidly extending in India, opening up Suez Canal in 1869 which further assisted in easy transport and cutting the sea route between India and England by over 7000 km. However, it was the American Civil War which dramatically brought about the commercialization of agriculture. The war transferred the British demand for cotton from America to India. Although the British demand for cotton, that is Indian raw cotton, fell off after the Civil War was over, but for other crops it remains the same. A series of famine in British colonial India from 1860 to 1900 which continued to wipe off millions of Indians. The reoccurrence of famines and starvation deaths of peasants now opened the eyes of imperial rulers. Thus, a fundamental Department of Agriculture in India was started in the year 1871. Although the chief function of the department named Department of Revenue, Agriculture and Commerce remained revenue and there was no work on agriculture development. But later during the severe famine of 1900, Lord Curzon, the then Viceroy of India was convinced that the government must urgently concentrate on the agriculture sector to overcome the damages caused by the frequent famine as a consequence of which Agriculture Research Institute ARI was founded with a college for advanced agriculture agriculture training at Pusa in the year 1905. I'm sending you to our professor, so just go there. आप जिन फेमाइन की बात कर रहे हैं, उन्हीं के चलते फाइनली 1905 में ARI बना आने की एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट. एक और बात बता दें, USA के हेनरी फिप्स ने सरकार को आर्थिक सहयोग दिया था, जिसके चलते जगह का नाम पूसा रख दिया गया. इसी दौरान छह नए एग्रीकल्चर कॉलेज बनाए गए और फिर 1919 में चलकर ARI का नाम IARI हो गया था। Similarly, after 10 years in 1929, the ICR was set up as a registered society on the recommendation of Royal Commission on Agriculture to aid, promote, guide and coordinate agriculture research and education in India. In 1934, IARI buildings at Pusa were damaged due to earthquake. Therefore, in 1936, IARI was transferred to Pusa Road, New Delhi. अब समझने वाली बात ये है कि जो ICAR और IARI का जो I है, जिसका मतलब imperial था, वो बाद में चलकर Indian हो गया। अब आप हमको एक बात बताइए। हमने आपको इतना समझाया, आप समझे कि नहीं समझे? और नहीं समझे तो क्या आपने लैपटॉप में दिखाएं क्या Moving on, in the Champaran district of Bihar, the Britishers had imposed a system called Teen Kathia. Under this system, the tenant farmers were forced to grow indigo. Three out of the 20 parts of the land would have to cultivate this indigo. Gandhiji took the initiative and finally helped people by abolishing the system officially. This was his first Satyagraha which made him Mahatma and the Bapu as well. Moving on, last but not the least famine, probably the most familiar among us all Indian, the Bengal famine. And this is not a great Bengal famine, fine. The Bengal famine of 1943. During 40s, rice was imported from Burma which was under British India at that time. Food shortages were seen in 1941 as a consequence of which the Britishers and rich Indians had bought and hoarded massive amount of rice. During 1942, Japanese successfully defeated the British at Singapore then proceeded to conquer Burma. This import of rice from Burma stopped and famine-like condition arised in the Bengal region as Bengal was in close proximity with the Burma. Winston Churchill, the then Prime Minister of Britain, instead of sending Relief food supplies casually diverted supply to Britain. Even worse, the British colonial authority actually turned out offer from Canada and US. When asked for help, Winston Churchill simply replied, If the situation is so worse, then why isn't the Gandhi dead yet? The famine only ended because Bengal thankfully had delivered a strong rice harvest in 1944 and other government initiative like founding of CRRI at Odisha in 1946. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Video से related कोई query या suggestion हो तो comment box में लिखें and make sure अगर आपको video पसंद आया तो share and subscribe and you know very well देश का culture agriculture.